When you round five or higher, add one more, four or less, take a rest, and put them all into zeros at the end of the number. I learned that if if it was in the hundreds place you and you at if you go to the next round, you go to zero after that. I learned that rounding has another name called estimating. I learned that when you round you're you're almost you're almost perfect with the answer. I learned that if you had to go next door and, and see if it's bigger if the number is bigger than five. I make an estimation and I have to round and it is almost close. I learned an estimation. You only make the number bigger if the number is five or higher. If the place next door is four or less, the number goes down. Um, what I learned in estimation is that you don't use the exact means, the exact number. To make an estimation, you have to round. To round, if it, the number is five or higher, add one more. If it's four or less, take a rest. Go to the nearest dollar, not just the nearest ten, to the nearest dollar. Learn that estimating that it makes life easier and it's so easy. I learned that rounding is a form of estimation. I learned that um, if the number is five or higher, I don't know. I learned if the number is four or less, take a rest. If it's five or higher, add one more. I learned if it's five or higher, add one more to the number. I learned that if that you estimate, it can be it can be four or higher, it can be four rounding like to the tens, hundreds, and thousands. I learned that you pick the closest number, or five or higher, add one more, four or less, take a rest. You won't get the exact answer, but you'll get you're very close. I learned how to round hundreds. I learned that you can round to 10, 10 100, 1,000, 10,000, and you can divide them and multiply and subtract. I can't see all of it. I learned that estimating is a faster way to find the sum. When it's half like 35, you have to round up to 40. Always read the number carefully.